Hundreds of thousands of people are visiting Albuquerque for Fiesta. As a lot of those guests leave, they'll get a look at something that makes our city look ugly. It's an eyesore that the state says has been challenging to clean up. News 13's Chris McKee is live at Coors and I-40 with more. Chris. Yeah, Jessica, this Atrisco pedestrian bridge here behind me is actually covered in graffiti. And NMDOT says taggers are going to dangerous heights, even hanging about 30 feet over the freeway just to do it. For westbound drivers on I-40, you can't miss it. It's kind of disappointing because it is a beautiful area. The Atrisco pedestrian bridge near the Coors I-40 interchange has become a constant magnet for graffiti. Oh, it's we can cover it up and by the by the weekend it's sprayed over again. The New Mexico Department of Transportation says since the bridge opened about eight years ago, vandals have been tagging it over and over again, going to new heights to make a noticeable mark. It's just a, a constant battle to try and keep that clear of, of, of graffiti. It's also become a big safety concern. NMDOT says the taggers are hanging over the freeway to do it. One of the tags is even on the edge of a bridge piling. They're endangering themselves, they're endangering people that are driving on the bridge, they're endangering our workers that are trying to get it cleaned up from time to time. The taggers are getting access from a walkway that runs along a gas line under the pedestrian bridge. There's not much keeping people out either. Just this six foot gate with two locks and a no trespassing sign. But the state says they're out of ideas. We've tried to fence them out. We tried to wire them out. There's all kinds of things that we try, but they, they'll show up with tools and just cut through that stuff, usually in the middle of the night. They haven't tried security cameras yet, but they say there are absolutely no plans to make any changes whatsoever. Some neighbors are worried what could happen at the bridge. And I see the excitement in, in the game that they play, and it's a child's game until someone gets hurt, and then we're all sad crying. We're all seeing it, so reality is telling us they do need to look into doing something and not worry about the money. Now, NMDOT couldn't tell us when the last time the bridge was cleaned or how much it costs to clean all of that graffiti up. The money to do it, though, comes out of their yearly general maintenance funds, which also covers stuff like potholes. Back to you, Jessica. All right, thank you, Chris. The state says they haven't heard of anyone getting hurt while tagging the bridge. They also have never caught anyone in the act.